Hey guys, Chris Bill, Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain the Scorpion in about a minute. Scorpion's first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man number 19 in December of 1964, and he was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. McDonald Mac Gargan was a private eye who was hired by J. Jonah Jameson to follow Peter Parker. Parker had recently started working for Jameson's paper, The Daily Bugle, and Jameson needed to know how Parker got those impossible photos of Spider-Man and his villains. Reading a report about scientist Dr. Farley Stillwell and his success in switching traits from one creature to another, Jameson pulled Gargan off the case. Now he asked him to be a part of an experiment run by Dr. Stillwell. With Stillwell and Gargan being paid $10,000 each, a lot of money back in 1964, they both enthusiastically agreed. Dr. Stillwell gave Gargan a serum and treatments that replicated abilities and traits proportional to a scorpion, making him physically stronger than Spider-Man, whom Jameson wanted Gargan to destroy. Stillwell also gave Scorpion his first tail, which was prehensile and was a powerful blunt object. Fitted with a suit, Scorpion beat Spider-Man on their first two meetings, teaching Spider-Man to dodge a lot more in combat against Gargan. The serum he took, though, caused him to be extremely cruel and aggressive. Scorpion received several upgrades to his suit, especially the tail, which could fire acid, electrical discharges, and concentrated plasma in concussive attacks. During the dark reign of Norman Osborn, Gargan abandoned his Scorpion costume and was united with the Venom symbiote. He returned to his Scorpion moniker soon after and will work for anyone if the price is right. And that's the Scorpion in about a minute.